The creed of Sufyan al thawri from 161. The creed of Sufyan ibn Uyayna, 197. The creed of Imam al-Awza'i from 157. The creed of the likes of Hamad ibn Salama and Hamad ibn Zayd. The creed of the likes of, 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 of Abu Hatim al-Razi and Abu Zur'a al-Razi. These are the great scholars of the earlier times. The creed of Imam al-Bukhari, the creed of Imam al-Shafi'i. All of them united upon the fact that the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, their path is to be followed. And this is where all of the sects of today that arise, you will find that every single last one of them, as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa himself said, that this Ummah will divide into 73, all of them into the hellfire. It's not me saying it. And it's not me driving them towards the hellfire either. It's to make clear that the way of the Sahaba is this way. And it is one way, just like Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, Khatta lana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khatta. That the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drew for us a line in the sand. Thumma qal hada sabilullah. Then he said, This is the path of Allah. Thumma khatta khatutan. An yaminihi wa an shimalihi. Then he drew lines to the right and drew lines to the left. After saying that this is my straight path, now he drew lines to the right and left. And then he said, Thumma qal hadihi subulun mutafarriqa. Ala kulli sabilin, ala kulli sabilin shaytan. Yad'u ilayh. That all of these parts are parts of divergence. At the head of each one of these parts is the devil calling to it. Thumma qara'a. Then he recited the words of Allah. Wa anna hadha sirati mustaqeeman fattabi'uhu. Wa la tattabi'u subul fatafarraqa bikum an sabilihi. Then he recited the words of Allah. This is my straight path, so follow it. And do not follow the other paths, for they will divide, divert you away from Allah's straight path. So there is one path that takes you to Jannah. Me sitting here and ignoring the fact that there are other sects out there. That does, that's not me causing disunity. The disunity is already out there. It's not me. They say, oh, you people, you divide. What? Before I spoke, there was unity? Before I sat here 40 minutes ago, all of Leeds was united. All the Muslims were upon a singular way. Because this is the scaremongering that they do. That they say that these Salafis, they come, and they say, they talk about the different sects and the groups, and they criticize them. And this is disunity. As if to say that we were the ones who brought disunity. What? There was no disunity up until 20 minutes ago, or 40 minutes ago. Or up until we started giving da'wah in the United Kingdom a few decades ago, there was no disunity. There was no such thing as Shia and Maturidi. Ask the Maturidiyya. Ask them, those who claim that they follow Abu Hanifa. Ask them, how old is your manhab? They say, over a thousand years old. MashaAllah. So I created disunity, huh? 20 minutes ago. Ask the Ash'aris. How old is your manhab? They'll say, well, Abu Hassan al-Ash'ari died in 324. And before him, Ibn Kullab a century or so earlier. They'll tell you themselves that their deviations are old. Jumatul Tabligh, 1928. I may look old, but I'm not that old. 1928. Hassan al-Banna, Ikhwan al-Muslimin in the 1920s. Hizb al-Tahrir and the Taqiyuddin al-Nabahani in the 1950s. Hezbollah in the 1980s. All of these groups in the United Kingdom, UKIM, which is a branch of jamaat e islami of India and Pakistan, of Sayyid Abu Ala Maududi, who died in 1979. What? Disunity wasn't there? All of them fighting each other and killing each other? Rather the Salafi, just like the Salafi of old, just like Shafi'i and Ahmad ibn Hanbal and, Im and, and Imam Shafi'i, and Malik ibn Anas, and Abu Hanifa, and Sufyan al thawri and Ibn Uyayna, and Abdullah ibn Mubarak, and Imam al zuhri And all of those a'imma of the first generations, of the earliest generations. This is what we are upon. They knew this and we know this today. That deviation is present. The question is, that this deviation, this sectarianism, what is the cure? The cure is simple, as Abu al Aliya said, the great Tabi who died in the year 90 after the Hijrah. He said, learn Islam, learn the truth. And once you have learned it, do not deviate to the right and don't deviate to the left. And beware of innovations. For indeed, innovations 
they will cause enmity between your hearts. So what causes enmity? Enmity in the hearts is caused, my brothers and sisters, by opposing the kitab and the sunnah, introducing ideas and doctrines that are alien to Islam. This is what causes deviation and sectarianism. You want to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet wasallam and justify it whichever way that you wish. But when it comes to the root of the issue, they know full well that the Prophet wasallam did not celebrate his birthday nor did his companions. But they will still do it. Trying to put a circle into a square, it doesn't work. You're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. But they want to do it, so they do it. Because every bid'ah that these people initiate, all it does is that it adds to more and more sectarianism. 